friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Cher and we are going to be talking about some summer fragrances today. I'm so excited. So we're particularly going to be covering summery new drops um, and a couple that are not as new, but wanting to kind of share a particular note that is my favorite being a tropical girl. I live in Florida and here in Florida, it's already pretty much summer. I know it's not necessarily summer everywhere else. You guys are still kind of going through spring at the moment, but it's it's summer temperatures here, and we have less than two weeks left of school, so it's time for me and my kids to hit the beaches. So I wanted to share a few of my favorites I've just discovered. I just did a very, very mini, 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 mini haul. It's not even a haul. It's a tiny little haul of some new drops, including the new Sol de Janeiro ones um, that were just released, actually a particular one. Um, I've also got the Ellis Brooklyn Miami Nectar. So a couple of those that are new, I wanted to uh, share with you and talk about. And then also um, another one that's a favorite. So these are particularly ones with the coconut scent, my favorite. So anyway, that interests you, stick around and we'll hop right on it. All right, guys, so sorry, I babbled a lot in my intro there. There was a lot of things I was kind of trying to cover in this video um, because I wanted to cover kind of summer fragrances. I will probably still just bring a, a separate video to you of a lot of summery fragrances I've been discovering lately um, and share like what are my faves for summer. Um, I also really wanted to kind of mingle in what are the coconut ones because coconut is my absolute favorite. It's my tropical vibe. I love scents with coconut in them. And I also wanted to cover like the new drops. So this is kind of the all purpose video on all of those combined. Let's talk about the Sol de Janeiro new release um, fragrances. So there's three that just dropped. So we have Summer A Amor, if I'm saying it right. Summer in Love, Summer in Love, something like that. Is, is that what that stands for? Um, anyway, so Summer A Amor, the pink one. And this one's supposed to be like orange flower and creamy almond are the main notes in it. So it's supposed to be on the warmer florals, um, you know, warm gourmand. It should be some of these notes that I mentioned, the orange flower, creamy almond, but it also includes sun-kissed woods. So that makes me think woody. Um, also like brown sugar, vanilla. So I think some are saying this pink one that it might smell like tan lines if you're familiar with the other parts of the line. Um, but then I've heard maybe like a, a cherry vanilla scent is what they're thinking. Then you have the Corioca Crush, which is your more like peachy one, peachy orangey colored one here. Um, this one is going to have more florals. You're going to have juicy pear you're gonna have white cedar wood and you're gonna have pink violet. So this is like gourmand meets musk, hints in it as well. I actually only picked up one for now. Okay, so I was gonna get all three of them. However, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna confess something. Some of the Sol de, Sol de Janeiro scents that I have smelled before, I didn't care for as much. Um, so I was like, do I want them all? Do I want to risk? But I knew that this one was probably the one I wanted um, because of the notes in it. I was thinking this was the one that was going to be probably closest to my preferences and sniffs and smells. And so this is what we're going to focus on today. So I don't have the other two, um, but I figured I'd kind of talk about the other two. So yes, with this one, I have heard um, maybe similar to Rio, Radiance, if that's the one I'm thinking of the correct, the correct one. We're going to kind of try this one out and see what we think. So excited. So I'm going to confess, I already gave it a sniff in the car, but I have not like worn it or anything to tell you guys about it. And I was so in love. It is so yummy. And so I'm so thrilled that I've got a Sol de Janeiro now that I like. So now I'm wearing other perfume. I'm going to spray it like on my elbow. <laughs> oh, it is incredible. 
So this is your ultimate tropical. Oh my gosh. This is what I gravitate towards all the way in my fragrance. This is your ultimate Florida beachy tropical like Miami but it's very sweet. Like I'm picking up on the sweet on it. And I know they've talked about Sol de Janeiro is a little more on the gourmand side and I'm okay with a little gourmand if it's more on the sweets. So this is it. It is so sweet. It is just that like perfect, like coconutty sweet girl on the beach. I am so here for it. I love it. I am madly in love. So this is going to be one of my absolute favorite, favorite fragrances for summer. I love it. Okay, so we'll talk about the notes in this one. It says, take a bite out of summer with fresh notes of peach skin, coconut milk, and frangipani petals, if I'm saying that right. Okay, so uh, peachy coconutty, basically, and a little floral, frangipani, is that what that is? So yes, I'm definitely, I mean, I smell the coconut milk for sure, you know, I don't smell like peach as much. It doesn't scream peach to me. I'm picking up more on the coconut milk and kind of floral, like sweet. I mean, it really does. One of my favorite scents is the Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. Um, my absolute favorite perfume. And it reminds me just a little bit of that with that same sweetness. And I'm just, I'm in love. It's wonderful. And what I love about this too is it's like it's it's strong but not like too strong. It's not overpowering. It's just that nice sweetness where I feel like when you like walk by and leave the room, you're going to leave this trail of sweetness. And so I just I love that. This is coming in my beach bag. This is going to be my summer vibe all summer long. Okay, so then moving on from the Sol de Janeiro, um and definitely stay true to that coconut theme I'm kind of going with today. Um, I sniffed this in Sephora the other day, back on my birthday, and I had major FOMO, and I regretted not picking it up, so I, would, I went ahead and picked it back up again. And this time, I wanted to do a true like test on my skin, wearing it all day. And so this is actually what I've been wearing today, the Ellis Brooklyn Miami Nectar. And this is a new release. Um, I just got the travel spray for now just because I didn't want to drop the hundred something dollars at the moment, but it was definitely one that I loved. I was really in love with it when I sniffed it. Here it, here it is in the travel spray. The notes on this one include pink pineapple, coconut water, um, you have vanilla and amber, plumeria, and salted woods. Um, so not as milky is the other one. This is a coconut water as opposed to coconut milk. And so with this one, what I initially was smelling was the coconut. When I first put it on, it was like, I, I smelled the sweet. I smelled, I think the plumeria like picked up on like the floral and the sweetness in it. And then as it lingered, like now, I've got more of the woody that's lingering behind. Um, so this one's not as much of a sweet one as I'd say that Sol de Janeiro is. It's going to have a little more, I don't want to say sex. It's a little more sexy maybe than that one because it's not as sweet. It's more a um, little bit of hint of woody also and just this like sexy vibe. A little more of the perfume smell, so to speak, like a higher end smell, I think, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I think like it does capture Miami, like the feeling of Miami well. But like Miami, Miami nights is more what I'm thinking. That's that's what I kind of feel like. A Miami night. And so I've been wearing it all day. I still smell it. It hasn't worn off, but what I'm smelling is mostly the woody that's left. So it's not the original scent. It's definitely kind of, you know, it dried down and then now it's kind of worn all day and that's what's remaining. So I would definitely wear this more of a night, a night in Miami to me personally. Keep in mind that I am, I'm still kind of new to fragrance. I've been really enjoying my fragrance journey and exploring 
and bringing reviews. I do a lot of like rankings on them now. Um, and my floor, my fragrance family that I lean towards is more of your fruities and florals and tropical. And I love anything with coconut. So I don't tend to be drawn to too woody or too leathery. I'm not into those. I don't like really strong. So keep that in mind as part of like my review. Um, so anyway, I like this one too. Love the coconut. I love this, but it's a little different from the other because it's less sweet. And then the last one that is another absolute favorite, this one's not as new, but I discovered that I fell so in love with it. And so I had to have it. And it reminds me a lot of that Sol de Janeiro. Honestly, I really think that it reminds me a lot of this, but I'm going to sniff it again to make sure and kind of compare side by side. And that is the Seven Virtues Coconut Sun. So I picked that one up too. And this is going to be another one all summer long for me. Here is the travel. And I got the travel spray again on this. Yes. Mm, this is so amazing too. I'm going to spray it over here. I'm covered in fragrance right now. <laughs> okay. Smells very different on the skin than in the bottle. So I immediately pick up a lot more, less of like the sweet coconut. I think I'm picking up a lot more on the jasmine on me. This is, I think this was made with jasmine. So let me look at the notes. Sustainably sourced jasmine from Egypt and upcycled orange flower. Yes. So best for letting go, protecting your joy, feeling present. I love that. And the story behind this, it says this perfume funds an entire sustainable clean water project for a community in need. I love these that or sustainable living products and clean. It looks like it's probably Leaping Bunny approved on here. I can tell from the symbol. So yeah, this one, I feel like floral is jumping out a lot more on my skin, but on the bottle and on the little card that I sprayed in Sephora, I was smelling a lot more of the sweet and the coconut. So it's interesting how it kind of changed a little bit still picking up a little bit on that, on, on floral. So yeah, I think the jasmine is what is really calling out here. The fact that it's called Coconut Sun, it definitely picked up on the coconut from a distance. Okay, so I think what is interesting is, I think this one is a blend of almost of these other two. Because this one has coconut water, similar to this. It also includes citrus. Frangipani, frangipani, however you say that, like this one. Um, it also includes a gourmand vanilla, which was this one, I think, also. So it's like I get hints. Uh, it's almost like if I blended these two together, you get this. So very interesting. That's just my take on it. And so it's like a little sweeter, I'd say, than the Miami Nectar, but not as sweet as the new Sol de Janeiro here. Bejos de Sol. I don't know if I say that right. Um, yeah. So interesting. Now, I also noticed that it includes upcycled rose. And I think that's part of what I'm picking up on, too, is that rose. So I'm getting a pretty heavy floral from this one, I can smell the hints of the coconut now though. I feel like as it's wearing on me a little bit, I'm picking up on that a little more like I did in the beginning, which is what's kind of adding to the sweetness a little. So very interesting, yeah. And this one I think retails $88. I think the uh, Ellis Brooklyn retailed 110 and the Sol de Janeiro 24. So if I had to rank, oh gosh, these three, like all three are going to be my favorite scents, I think for summer, other than, do you have a couple more over there? Uh, maybe the Flower Bomb also still. Flower Bomb, I think is mine of all time. So I think these are going to be my favorite scents for summer. I think they're going to be my favorites of all. I, I love them. I love the coconut um, notes in them. If I had to rank, Let's see if I had to rank. What's interesting is 
even though I haven't always cared for the Sol de, Sol de Janeiro ones I've tried in the past. I think this is the number one. I love this one so much. Such a favorite. I think it's amazing. And now I really want to try the other two because of that. I'm like, okay, maybe I can give it a chance. And then, gosh, it would be so hard to decide between these two. No. Um... Smelling it in store at Sephora, this was my number two and this was my number three probably, but on me and how it wears on me, I'm going to have to go with the Miami Nectar is number two and then the Coconut Sun is number three. Yeah. So always keep that in mind, guys. If you do a sniff test in the store and you're putting it on the strips, try to spray it on yourself too. It's always... A it's kind of hard if you're sniffing a bunch of different fragrances because, you know, you're going to have fragrance all over you. But if you're only doing a test of like a couple in store, um, try to put it on you on your skin because it might meld differently on your skin than it does on that paper. So that's my tip there just from my limited experience here that I'm, I'm learning. All right, guys, I think that's it for today. I just wanted to share my thoughts and first impressions on these brand new drops and also just giving you guys some great ideas for coconut notes especially and summery fragrances that you can wear this summer that are going to be my faves. Um, if you have some other ones you love that have coconut notes or some great summer fragrances, let me know. I'm on a quest to try them all now. I may go back for those other two Sol de Janeiro ones. Let me know if you've tried the other two also and how they are. And that takes care of it for today. If you love fragrance, you'll want to stick around because I've definitely been getting into it lately and been doing a lot of reviews and rankings on it. And I love to follow a lot of the latest releases anyway, and especially in makeup and beauty um, and also the latest beauty news. I do vlogs, I do a lot of beauty boxes here, my big beauty box channel. So you don't want to miss it all. Stick around and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.